Hello everyone and welcome to ATP Game Streams. Today we are going to play Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. I will try to get all the mob hunts and espers done as well as exploring every area that is possible to me. If you have questions just go ahead and comment. And as usually guys if you enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like, follow or subscribe. But let's begin the video after the intro. Don't get this one. Really? Sure, let's run away from humans. Huh, he couldn't be attacked due to the fact that he was flying away. Question now is how to open this. There must be a switch. Yeah. Exactly, there must be one. But not here. And now there will appear a lot of skellies. We just get them due to the fact that we are getting um, license points. The so Lava is hitting first, but doesn't kill them with one hit. And Bash doesn't as well. Well, I didn't accept Bash too. And then I already forgot, and hello, the, where the switches are. Haven't there been some here? No. Oh, whatever. I should get past this one now. But let's increase our shine a little bit. At least. Just to show off, obviously. And there we go. Killed all of them. Nice! Finally. Uh, this doesn't look good in my eyes. <laughs> With bravery. That means they deal double amount of damage. Can't do that. You have to do it once more, buddy. Actually, only shell. Oh, I don't mind. 400. Ooh, this could become troublesome. 500. They have a lot of a lot of HP, guys. Ouch. Yeah, this area is actually way too hard for us right now. Hmm. 
Quarters. Yeah, I don't want you to have quarters. But I want you to have blind. So you don't hit me so often. I'm just thinking about my health, by the way. Um, where did they say it is? Really? Like, really? The whole path back, I'm just saying that the way before is a Espa that I can't kill, I think. So, sorry guys, but I can't get past that. This doesn't work in any way. I know the sound like uh, this sounds like I'm a coward, but the Esper that is there is a level three Esper, I think, and he's casting death a lot of times, and some other really really unenjoyable magic skills. Uh, yeah. So we almost did every mob hunt that we could, except this one. If there wouldn't be the Esper, we would probably fight ourselves through this, but Jesus, it's annoying. The mobs have 10k HP, they are 11 or 12 levels ahead of us. Of Obviously it's not a big challenge to me right now. I would do that, but honestly, I'm not gonna go for the Esper. It's just a no-go right now. And thankfully Oh I remote. Thankfully we have Basie and can cross this one. Don't have to wait for uh, the bats that they're coming around. So this actually increases our chance of getting a Shane up, by the way. If we would like to do this here. Due to the fact that we don't have to cross the stupid bats around. Like this one, or this one, and the other one. Ah, I walked past the stairs. So we can't do much anymore right now, means we will have to go to the next area, where Lava will part from us probably. Um, license 92, so we're getting this. Uh -huh. I should get this one. Equip. So, how much do we get? 27, right? Well, so, yeah, 27 points up. Speed goes down by one, but honestly, for 20 point... Uh, 27 points in damage. 83 is... The highest we have. She, with her burning bow, is really nice too. But she's still... Uh, not as good as he with his dagger now. So, time to teleport to that mountain. Get our stuff ready. Can we actually go to the Ondor? Hello. Uh, oh, okay. 
That would have been so cool if they would show us the uh, Ondor's uh, apartment or house or villa, whatever. Where's the stupid... Mount Buo Omises. Or Omises. Whatever. Um, we are gonna sh uh, save quickly here. So we don't get any more problems or other things that we would get with teleporting. And hey! Let's just talk to everybody. Maybe we'll get something for free. Hello, woman. Do you want to marry me? No? Okay. Ah, the eat uh, the what where the people get food. Dude, let me pass. I want to talk to him. Anything? Come on, oh, come on, there could be a treasure at least. Like some secret weapon I could gather. Ooh. And a nice cutscene, probably, I hope. That's all built into that mountain. Really glad. And really amazing. Imagine we are building this into a mountain. It's like a sky temple. I need Ash or both, yeah, uh, or Pinello at least in one team. Due to the heal and due to the wave. Uh, we're talking to the people because sometimes we get f uh, free stuff. For example, a spell, something useful, or whatever. There are little side quests like if you talk to somebody and he wants to deliver that or do that and that. We're just gonna do it. It's always better because from time to time they are just useful useful things around. Yeah, but I can't talk to this one. We talked to him. Um, ooh. Aviera. How did he get down there and how does he get back? How do they get back? Hmm. Interesting. So there haven't been any treasures around, right? That's asking. Okay, now a cutscene will probably come. Not yet. But now... Okay, cutscene. So I'm shutting my mouth. No, my child. Whoa. I do not sleep. 
I dream. For reality and illusion are a duality. Two parts of a whole. Only the mirror of dreams reflects what is true. Anastasis, your grace. I am Lay Ashelia... down your words. Ashelia, daughter of Ramanas. I have dreamt your dream. Who better to carry on the Dalmascan line than she who bears the Dawn Shard? Your dream of a kingdom restored is known to me. Grand Kiltius, then give us your blessing. Grant the Lady Ash her I accession to the... This is something you might reconsider. My little emperor in waiting. You called and I have come. Uh, this is the man I wanted you to meet. Believe it or not, he is a member of the noble house Margrace, rulers of the Rosarian Empire. I am but one of very, very many. Try as I might, I could not stop this war alone. Thus, I came seeking Lars's assistance. Uh, I'll seat Margrace at your service. To think I stand before the Lady Ash, it is truly an honor. Uh. I see it is true after all. Uh, stunning is Dalmasca's desert bloom. Uh. In Arcadia, Larsa. In Rosaria. Al Cid. They dream not of war. Should Empire join with Empire, the way will open for a new Ivelis in our time. <laughs> Grand Kiltius, you speak much of dreams, but in the real world, war is upon us. Grand Kiltius, I was told my coming here would prevent this war. I was to assume my father's throne and announce the restoration of Dalmasca, treat with the Empire for peace, and persuade the Resistance to stay their hand. I have not come all this way to be asked to reconsider. A word from you and the Resistance would stop cold, and Rosaria's pretext for joining the war scattered off to the Four Winds. This was what we had hoped. Alas, circumstances change. A full two years have passed since your reported death. Were it to become known you are still alive, I fear it could only worsen our current situation. Because I am powerless to help. Uh, nay, in fact it has little to do with you. Then what? If Lady Ash were to extend her hand in friendship, perhaps I could then persuade the Emperor. His Excellency will solve things peacefully. The Emperor Gramis is no more. His life was taken. Oh, father. What possible cause could we have to lay hand on our emperor? A deception and an outrage. The Senate will not stand for this. A viper amongst our senators? The chairman Gregoroth has its head. With what dignity remained him, he confessed to the poisoning and passed his own sentence. A oh, viper with many tales. Much of the Senate is culpable. We had no choice but to strip the Senate of authority and assign powers of autocracy to myself until such time as order... Spare me your lies! I see the serpent coiled here before me! Trace, you speak too freely. Zargabath! Do not tell me you join in his mama's farce! With Rosaria poised to invade at any moment, our leader must have a free hand. <sighs> The once great House Solidor is now reduced to myself and my dear brother Larsa. Surely you would not go so far. Vain Solidor! As Judge Magister and upholder of the law, I hereby place you under arrest. <gasps> you misunderstand. Vain did not make himself autocrat. It was the very Ministry of Law which you serve. Do you see it now, Drace? When you bared your sword at His Excellency, you bared your sword at the law. You wear the mummers motley well, Bergen. Such 
strength in human. <sighs> Zargabath, take the Alexander. You will accompany Bergen and bring Larsa back to me, sire. Your Excellency, Lord Larsa was placed under my charge. Oh? Perhaps you mistook your orders, then? I can see no other explanation for why you were reporting and conjecturing on my doings to my late father. Your Excellency... A hound begging for scraps at the Emperor's table. Would you serve another master, hound? You may fulfill your duty as Judge Magister before us all. She has been tried and found guilty. Your Excellency, I beg you reconsider. Do it. I care not. Live, Gabranth. Protect the young lord. Protect Larsa. Forgive me. Pray be quick. And so, how Solidor lives on. Weird, man. He killed his own father, then he killed that lady that was protecting them. Oh. Let us suppose you approach the Empire with a peaceful resolution. The late Emperor Grammys would have lent you his ear, that much is certain. But we are dealing with vain Solidor. Should the princess return, he would claim her an imposter, or to tempt the resistance into battle. Vane wants this war, that much is certain. As our ill luck would have it, the man is a military genius. The dreams have told me thus. To reveal yourself would imperil us all. I see war, and Vane's name writ bold on history's page. Arcadia's banners fly high. They are making ready for the coming war. According to our latest reports, the Western Armada prepares for war under Vane's command, no less. The newly formed 12th Fleet has already been deployed. Oh yes, the Imperial First Fleet sends ready. They'll be underway as soon as the Odin's refit is complete. Nice. And there is more. The second Caravan Expeditionary Force is being called in to replace the missing aid, so there will be no gaps. The largest force ever seen! And then, the Nethersite is the coup de grace. Wrap. Grand Kiltius, your grace. I spoke to you of my succession. Let us put that aside. Should I become Queen of Damascus now, powerless as I am, I can protect nothing. With a greater power at my disposal, perhaps then. It is the Nethersite my bad again. of which you dream? I require something far greater. To wield power against power. Truly the words of a Hume child. I am descended from the Dynast King himself. Indeed, then you have but one choice. Seek you the other power Wraithwall left. Yeah. Does such a thing exist? Journey across the Paramana Rift to the still shrine of Miriam. There rests the gift he entrusted to the Grand Kiltius of his time. Seek it out. 
Nice. The sword of kings can cut through Nethesite. Ah. Why he wouldn't trust the power to destroy Nethesite, the instrument of his greatness, to another and not to his own progeny, I cannot say. Awaken Hashelia Benagan and take up your sword, or your dream will remain but, but a dream. dream. And um, I feel sorry for Lava. He lost his dad. My dream too fades into day. Lava, leave the party. This is it for this part. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And now the outro comes, so see you soon. Yeah.